on this Two Cent Tuesday, I'm going to talk about how we sleep in our RV. Now, when you're in your RV and usually you're in strange places and there's all kinds of noises going on outside, the two ways that I like to stay asleep. So my two ways, now, if you're boondocking, you can't do this, but if you're hooked up to power, then you can. In the summertime, our air conditioner in the bedroom, we turn it to on so that it runs all night because if we turn it on auto, it kicks on and off and it will wake you up every time it kicks on and off. So it's just better to leave it on and turn it to low. And if it's hot outside, it'll just keep it cool in here. You just set the temperature, you turn it to on low, and it will keep that temperature. It will keep running, but turn the compressor on and off to keep it to that temperature. And then with the noise of the AC unit, you don't hear anything that goes on. And I can vouch for this because the dogs, if we don't do this, they'll hear everything outside and bark every time they hear it. But as long as we leave this on all night, nothing, they don't bark. Now, in the winter time, you don't want to really leave this on <laughs> and on the AC. You could, I imagine you could, we just never have done it. But what I have is a torpedo fan that we turn on in the winter time. I like that fan and it keeps the heat circulating in here. And I usually turn it on like medium. So you have the sound of the fan going and it drowns out any other sound. You don't even know that anything's going on. Cause here at the camper, the other night, I was asleep and had that pan on and Bill said some people pulled up on some four-wheelers and he went out there and talked to them and I never even heard the four-wheeler drive up because the fan drowned it out. I know a lot of people do like sound machines and stuff like that and I've bought sound machines but they're even though it says fan to me the sound machines that I've gotten and I might have gotten the wrong ones it just doesn't sound like a real fan. Might as well just get a fan and do it. Now, what we like about this torpedo one is in the winter time, we'll turn it up towards the ceiling so it blows the heat around. But then like, if it's just like right now here at this camper, it's like at the 50s, 60s at night. We don't want the air conditioner on because it's not hot enough for that. So I just turn the fan on and I have it blow straight on me because I like the fan blowing on me anyway. And it keeps it cool in here and we don't have to run the AC. And I do turn the fan on high during this situation, but I do turn it on medium when it's the heat's on. And if you haven't watched it already, I talk about how we heat our camper in the winter. So you can watch that video. Till next time, like and subscribe.